that I am using my new light today. I am super excited about this. Um, I am going to make a little video today and show you guys a piece of mail that I received, talk a little bit about where I got this, and then I'm going to walk you through how I create a piece of mail for uh, my friends in a swapping group that I belong to called SwapBot.com. Now this is my first day using this light and my desk as you can see is a little shaky. <laughs> so it's probably going to shake, um, but you know I'm just learning and getting set up here. Um, so I will make adjustments as I go, but I'm excited you are all here for my first overhead video without my face. <laughs> I'm still here. Hi! Hello! So I am a member of a website called SwapBot.com. I will put a screenshot here. And on this site, you can sign up for lots of different kinds of email swaps, postal mail swaps, craft swaps. You can do journal pages. You can get pen pals. Um, all kinds of different artistic and creative swaps. There's swaps for sewing. Um, I'm in one where we do 18th century recipes. I don't even think I told you guys about that. But my beef pie. Somebody remind me in the comments to talk about my beef pie. Anyway, this is a really fun uh, swapping site. So if you guys want to go on there, um, I'll put a link to my page in the description as well as the main page. Anyway, I like to go on there and sign up for crafty swaps. Um, a lot of times I won't sign up until I'm actually having a craft day and I am in the mood to make a craft because once you sign up you are obligated and um, I might have you know a really relaxing crafty day in mind and then my day actually gets out of hand and I can't you know follow through as nicely as I would want to so I would recommend that you go slow <laughs> but anyway this is a piece of mail that I got this was for a swap where we were to create a picnic themed piece of mail um, the envelope was the big deal for the theme um, whatever's inside of it there should be at least one picnic themed item this one I got from the Netherlands and um, and I have not opened it yet, so I'm going to open this with you guys. So this, on the back here, this is, I'm just going to talk to you guys like you don't know anything about crafts, okay? So, if you, <laughs> so don't think I'm patronizing. But this is called washi tape. Um, it is a thin, uh, removable tape. It's kind of like a paper tape. And I have a ton of it in all different styles, and I love it. Um, so she's put some of that on there. She's covered the whole thing in plastic, which I think is smart and sweet of her to do. Just gonna cut this off here so I don't um, bend anything. She wanted to make sure that I was able to receive this nice, and so um, I really appreciate that she covered it in plastic. Sometimes I will cover my stuff in packing tape. For the same reason. Alright, so this is what this looks like here. Um, she's got this uh, cute washi tape up here where people are picnicking. Um, a little basket, the word picnic, and then this little girl having a tea party with her dollies. Super cute. And she has made it with paper that resembles a picnic bl blanket or tablecloth, right? Um, and then you open it up and this is cute little um, envelope that she's made. So I try to save, I'll show you here in a minute, my ephemera box. <laughs> I try to save everything that I receive because I can reuse it in some kind of a project. So she has used um, glue here that is not permanent so that it's easy for me to open up this cute little envelope here and to reuse everything. So inside here we have some more of the washi tape like she used with the little picnic people on it. And um, just a little, they're doing art. <laughs> and then some gold. There are lots of cute stickers. Looks like she cut up a sticker sheet to fit in there. So lots of treats that you might have on a picnic. So 
is a little postcard. Um, and I love receiving things from other countries because it's so fun to see what um, people are doing, right? This is um, a place called Stationary World that is found in the Netherlands, it looks like. I've never heard of that, so I am definitely going to go on there and look. Um, it says tag us, right? So I'm going to actually tag them in this video. And this is Around the World Postcards, and this one is made in a studio in Russia. So, the picnic postcard. It's a little card here with a picnic on it. All right, so then here is um, the letter that my friend sent me. So it says, she is from Sleen in the Netherlands. She wrote this in July 26, 2023. Hi, Sarah. It's been quite some time that I've been going for a picnic. I have lived in Sweden for a couple of years, and there I went more often. Sweden is perfect for a picnic because you can just go to a lake and it will be quiet and peaceful and there's always a good view. When I was little, we always used to go to a beautiful location to picnic. It was on a small hill and there was a bench and a good view too. Down the hill, there was a little pond with frogs and in spring, the sound of them quacking? What's the word, ha ha? Oh, it's croaking in English, ha ha. I have two little brothers and we always, I'm not sure what this word is, I think B-I-N-E-D. Um, anyway, I'm going to assume played there, and the fastest to get up the hill won the race and got the first choice of candy. Ha ha, good memories. I hope you like my picnic meal, and I hope it got to you safely. So there's a sweet letter, and these are hats I'm learning. <laughs> I'm like, are they tortilla chips? What is this? But now I see um, at the bottom of the letter there is a, it's, you can tell it's a little bonnet. <laughs> So that is a super sweet piece of mail. Okay, so I've entered another swap like this, um, but this one is strawberry themed. So I'm gonna set this aside. So when I'm preparing a swap for someone, I will first go to their profile and kind of see what they like, what they're into. And then I use that information along with the rules for the swap to decide exactly what I'm going to put together for, these pe for this person, right? So this is a strawberry themed swap. I've got to make an envelope featuring strawberries and then at least one thing in the envelope needs to be strawberry themed. So the first thing I do is I decide what I'm going to put in the envelope. I have a big box, I'm gonna show you. So this is my shelf where I keep a lot of my um, paper crafting supplies. I've got most of it pretty well organized. This is one of those that I had to move from my crafting library into my bedroom. But here in these baskets, I've got this one and this one. These are my paper ephemera baskets. And I have been keeping things in here for years, probably 12 years or more. So I've got like pieces of old cards. Um, pieces from envelopes people have sent me. There's that book that I'm using for the swap. Um, this is off of an old calendar. There is just all kinds of random little papers and things. This is some tissue paper that I ended up stamping and had these little pieces left over. Um, just, you know, there's photos, just whatever, pieces of maps. Here's some paper lace. <laughs> um, this is an old photo I found at a thrift shop that I thought was cool. So anyway, any paper that I think is cute. This is um, wrapping paper somebody from the Netherlands sent me. These little baby things are actually Victorian scrapbooking uh, ephemera that was made, you know, over 100 years ago to, um, from Germany. And, oh yeah, and these also, these are some things that I found at an antique shop. They're just little bunnies and you just tear them off, you know, and use them. But <clears throat> they were made for scrapbooking. 
so the Victorians were doing scrapbooking long before it became <laughs> a thing in our generation. Um, and so some of the, sometimes you can find some of that stuff at, you know, thrift shops and antique shops and whatever. But anyway, here's a envelope someone sent me. It is completely full of things from England. This girl knew that I loved England and I had traveled there a lot. And so she sent me a whole envelope full of paper ephemera that I can use for my junk journals and things. Um, she got me these little poster things and I let my little girls color them. But anyway, all this stuff, I keep every little paper scrap that is cute. <laughs> and I keep them in these. And then I also have this um, shelf with scrapbooking paper on it and so I have a lot of paper to choose from as well as a bunch of books down here that I actually some of those not all of them but most of them I actually tear pages out of or cut things out of to add to my junk journals so just wanted to show you guys where I get some of my stuff I just might as well show you the rest of this shelf because I'm here. And there's a few fandom references right here in this shot. <laughs> now you guys can know how nerdy I am. Alright, back to the video. Okay, so I went through those boxes and I found a few things with strawberries. I actually found a few more that I'm not including here because strawberries is one of my favorite themes that I like for my own self and so I wanted to save some for my art journals that I keep for myself but I did find um, a few things that I'm going to include in her package so I've got this cute little piece of paper with strawberries and um, here's a recipe card featuring strawberries this piece of wrapping paper I just need to kind of straighten out it has a little strawberry there and then, um, let's see, this was an envelope that someone made for me years ago, but I saved, obviously, because I save everything cute. Uh, this has a verse on it, but my partner is actually not, uh, she asked specifically not for religious things, so I'm not going to send that part to her, but I may cut this little girl out and send that to her. I'm not exactly sure yet if I will do that. Um, and then I found some things that aren't necessarily, well, I guess this has a strawberry on it, a little um, thing that I have cut off of a card. And then I found some stuff that's not necessarily strawberry themed, but it, it fits in the idea, right? This is a Victorian calling card um, scrapbooking piece from, you know, a really long time ago. Um, here's some cute things. So all of these are going to work for this theme because, you know, they're a color... A theme but they also are just sort of that I don't know happy cottagey whatever you know what I'm saying cute cute stuff okay um, so those are some things that I will include now if I'm including really little things sometimes I like to cut an envelope out of pretty paper and I may be doing that because um, I'm like oh I found this piece of paper here but I need to erase because someone has written a little bit on it. <laughs> and then I found this little envelope of stuff that someone had given me. And um, some of these things I will keep, but not all of them. And so I'm gonna go through and pick out the ones that I want to keep. And then I'm gonna stick the rest of them in a little envelope that I will make for her. I'm going to use one of these three papers to make the envelope. Um, this is the back of a stationary page, like a stationary pad, you know. Um, this is a card someone sent me, and this is a letter someone sent me. So between these three, I will be making an envelope of some sort to um, put these little things in and include in her thing. I also, when I'm doing these sort of cottagey themed, you know, happy themed uh, swaps, I like to put a book page in. This is a book that I had actually ordered to go in my collection and it came pretty trashed. And so after receiving the refund and the, hey, go ahead and keep this one too, permission, <laughs> I've started ripping pages out of it to send um, in my swaps. And so I will go through and pick out a page that I like here and rip it out 
and send it because while it's not necessarily strawberry themed, it definitely fits the mood here. And um, I also found some uh, wrapping paper that has some cupcakes with strawberries. So I will be cutting out some of those to include. And then I have my, I talked about these <laughs> in our last Shabbat Prep Day radio, uh, Daphne's Diary. I love these books. And um, so I went through, and this one I knew I would find some strawberries because it has strawberries on the cover, right? Um, and then this one I actually found some strawberry stuff in too. So on this one, I found these strawberry cake um, pages. And so I will probably use this page for the actual envelope. Um, I also found, where's my other bookmark, here we go, um, this little piece here, strawberries and lemon, um, so I might cut that out just to stick in there. And then in this one I found a few things, um, here is a recipe for strawberry jam that I may just take that page out and include it for her. Here is a little, uh, where is it, this one, recipe for a strawberry mocktail. Again, if I don't mind what's on the back here, which I don't mind that, um, then I will cut out and send that to her. And then I found this cute art project where you can take these papers and wrap them around uh, a pail for you know, whatever, put pretty things in there, herbs or whatever. And then here are the two designs. And this one has strawberries and a cake and it is so adorable. And I was tempted to send it to her, but I just, I can't give it up. So I'm going to keep it for me for now anyway. So, so I will go ahead and remove my Tin Man bookmark from that because I'm not going to use that one. Okay, so I now that I know what all I want to include in here, I kind of just look and see what is the biggest thing because that will determine the size of my envelope. So my biggest thing is probably going to be um, this thing or a page from here, but I may just cut out a piece from this Poppy's book or fold the page in half. So um, I need to have my envelope make sure that it's going to be about this big because this one I definitely don't want to bend. She's going to want to use this for, you know, fussy cutting to cut these things out. So I need to see if my template is going to be and see my template is just about the right size. So I just need to make sure that when I'm actually folding my envelope that I fold it around this largest piece. So now that I have my envelope all cut out, I'm going to go ahead and glue it. I like to use Elmer's um, Permanent Bond Glue Stick. I think this is the best glue stick and um, unlike the one that my friend sent me, this one is not going to come apart, but I don't want it to. I want it to be a normal paper envelope. So this envelope is going to open from the top, even though I'm going to obviously send it sideways like this. Okay, so I've got this all ready. I'm going to go ahead and set it aside and um, put together the things that I want to send to her. cut out a few things, wrapping paper, this little girl from that envelope. Um, I cut out this from the Poppy's Babies book. And then I cut out this recipe from the Daphne's Diary. And sometimes I just like to do a little bit of special extra. You know, I took these scissors and I cut a pretty edge just for fun. Um, but while I was doing that, I realized that my scissors are bent. I think I can see that, and so they're not making a good cut. And so I actually have this piece of paper here. 
on my desk. This is my Hobby Lobby list. <laughs> and these are all the things that I um, need to get next time I am at the craft shop. So um, I'm going to write, I don't know what these are called, I'm just going to write scallop. I think they're called scallop scissors. So I'm just going to write scallop scissors. And then I'll know next time I'm at Hobby Lobby to pick those up. So I've got these cutouts. Um, I'm going to add these little things in that I talked about. This was actually cut off of an envelope somebody sent me a long time ago. I thought it was so cute. Um, got all these little things to add in there. And then I need to make the envelope for the small, um, the small little ephemera. So I think I'm probably going to go with this Paris one because the way the crease is on this one doesn't give me a whole lot of room without the envelope being obviously weirdly creased and on this one I can kind of do it where the crease is um, actually on the flap of the envelope that I'm making. Now that I've got my little envelope made, I'm gonna do the orientation this way. So I'm gonna glue this as the bottom. So I'll probably do a little decorative cut here on the top too, just to make it pretty. Because the idea here is that you want to make something special for your partner, right? So you want it to be something that when she opens it up, she is going to feel just as special as I did when I opened up my little um, picnic package. Okay, and I'm double checking. It goes this way, so I need to glue this tiny one here. that and I just I love this glue because it does not take long for it to um, hold at all it is a good glue so make sure that is all secure there and then I'll go through this little envelope and see what do I want to keep from it okay and then to close that up I'm gonna use a little piece of washi tape I found Three, no, I got four different designs with strawberries in my washi tape box. Um, I've got, this one has strawberries and just like coffee and stuff, tea maybe. These are two with gingham pattern. And then I found this roll with um, strawberries on it. So I'm just going to take a little piece of probably this one. This one is actually scented like strawberries too. <laughs> so I'll just break off a little piece here to seal up this envelope for her. Okay, so that's going to go in. Whoops. So I will give her one of these. And then, oh, that's right. I found this little envelope too, and I had noticed on my friend's profile that she likes this style with these little um, things, and this is not something that I'm going to use. So I will find something to put into it. In fact, I think I'm going to put some stickers in it. So I'm going to set that aside for my stickers. This has tiny little strawberries, and this is what I'm going to use for um, actually writing out a card to her. So someone had written a card to me. I'm just going to cut that part off, or even just rip it. I'll save the card part that has the message for me for future crafting, and this is the one I will write a message to her on. And then lastly, I found a bunch of stickers. So um, I am going to go through these and decide which stickers I want to give to her and which stickers I want to put on the outside of the envelope. Um, I get stickers, again, I collect these, I've collected these from all over the place. Um, I don't even know, can't even tell you where I got some of this stuff, but these are some I got from friends. Anyway, and then these ones I want to show you because these are ones Lindsay, my daughter Lindsay made. Um, and she was selling on Redbubble for a little while, and she may still be. I can't remember if she has her shop up or not, but she's got little tea, like boba tea and strawberry lemonade. So I will cut one of these off um, and send to her, 
and make sure and tell her about Lindsay so that she can check out her Redbubble shop if she still has it open. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this together, and then I'll show you how I do the outside of the envelope. All right, so now it's time for me to decide how exactly I want to design, decorate, whatever, on this envelope. So I always start by deciding on my washi tape because that is what is going to go down first. Um, usually when I do an envelope, I use a normal envelope that folds you know, and closes here. Uh, but this one closes on the side, just the way I decided to glue it. And so my washi tape on this one is actually going to go this way because I'm going to use it um, just as an extra seal for my envelope. So I might do some this way and I might do some this way. The only thing is, is I really don't want to block out this cute flower here. And so I'm probably just going to maybe put some here on the side and then some here on this side as well. Um, I want to do some kind of a little pretty picture here to um, add to the strawberryness of everything. And so I'm going to look through this pile of stuff and see if there's something that would fit good right there. Alright, I'm thinking the little girl is perfect to put here. So I'm just going to set that there and just sort of imagine my washi tape lines. Um, I may want to do the gingham, I may want to do this one kind of thinking that I'm going to go with this one. Alright, so that's just kind of my imagined little washi tape there. And then I need to think of how do I want to do the address. I keep a basket of little papers <laughs> that I can go through for um, address ideas. So I'm going to go through this basket and see what I can find to use as an address label. Okay, so I have decided to put this little paper on here as an address label. I'm going to have to write it kind of small. And then I was thinking about making one for myself, uh, for my own address up here in this corner with this piece of pink. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that down and see how much covers that just covers up more of the envelope than I would like to. We're not actually required to have a return address on our mail um, in the US. It's just a good idea to do so. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, just put this on the back and I'm going to add a little strawberry sticker here to it. I think I'm going to put this strawberry cheesecake sticker on it. And then I will write my address and I will stick this on the back of the envelope um, somewhere here probably um, after I've sealed it up. If it's in a place that is not the normal you know orientation for the scanner it doesn't usually cause confusion. Now on this swap one of the instructions was that we don't just do sticker slapping so we need to have a few elements to our envelope to make it you know, just not your average, hey, I put this together and I slapped some stickers on it and called it good. So one of the things that I like to do is add a piece of paper lace to pretty much anything cute that I do. So I'm going to go and grab that. I have this entire box of paper lace and which, you know, they're doilies. I just, paper lace sounds so pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> well, doily actually is a pretty word too. But anyway, um, I've got these napkins and other things in here that I like to use to put on my crafting papers and envelopes and things. And so I'm just going to look for this piece of white here will actually be good, but this one I've already cut into, so I'm actually going to take this one out and use this. I guess I could look here for any more strawberry stuff, but I kind of do have a lot in this envelope already. We were really only required to put one thing in. <laughs> plus a little note, but um, I just kind of went overboard. So anyway, I think I'll just be done there so that I can actually afford to mail this thing. So I like to cut my paper lace to fit on a corner usually. So um, I'm going to do like this. And usually what I do is I'll go ahead and glue it down and then I cut the edges off.
And whenever I'm cutting anything sticky, like um, tape or glue, I have a different pair of scissors that I use for that because these are called my sticky scissors. <laughs> They're actually old sewing scissors. Um, and so I will use them for my sticky paper because I don't want to gum up my good scissors that I use for cutting non-sticky paper. <laughs> Alright, so there, see so they get all gummy and gross, and I'll just set that aside to decide what portions of that I'm still going to keep. Alright, I've got this paper lace all fixed on here nice, and I have written a message to my partner here on the back of this card. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and fill this and decorate the outside of the envelope, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm all done. Okay, while I was working on this, my husband came in and explained to me the idea of indirect light sources. <laughs> so, Next video I will make sure and have uh, better lighting so that we don't have shadows. But I have finished putting this on here. I'm kind of blocking the girl's um, address there with that little sticker. But that is what the front looks like. And then there's the back with my address blocked also. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is before I um, put the stamps on this, I want to tape the whole thing. So I just use this packing tape that I get from Walmart and then I tape just a couple of rows of tape all the way around my envelope because I want to make sure all this stuff stays put. But I leave a, a little bit up here at the top where I don't tape so that someone can get their letter opener up under there, right? I want them to be able to get into my package easily. All right, and the last thing that's really important um, when you are sending something like this is to realize that you are gonna have to put quite a bit more postage on this than just your regular first class postage stamp. Um, I'm going to put two international stamps on here. This is gonna make it almost $3 worth of postage. My person is actually in the US, but um, I just want to be on the safe side because this is a really thick envelope, so it's actually going to require quite a bit more postage than, um, you know, normal. So I'm going to put um, these two on here because they match really cute and they um, are a good heavy duty, you know, I can't remember, $1.40 or something, maybe even more than that. I don't want to cover up my cute... Um, flower there so I'm just gonna stick it like this so the scanner can get to that and then I also found these stamps um, that are strawberries that are only three cents so I'm just gonna include one just for the fun of it so I'll stick that one up here and that's just for fun and a little extra and then I will go ahead and weigh this um, and look it up online just to make sure that I have enough postage on here. If I don't, then I'm going to need to add one more stamp and I will try to find an inconspicuous place to add it on here. But I think I'm probably good with what I have on here. So that is my little swap package for my friend. I hope that she loves it. I know that I would love it if I received something like this in the mail. So. I um, hope that it is a blessing and I hope that you guys were inspired. I would love to see what you guys are doing in your own uh, mother culture time, just your own crafting time. Go ahead if you want and send photos and I will include them on our Shabbat Prep Day Radio episodes for everyone to see and be inspired on what kind of crafty things we are doing. Alright guys, hope this was fun for you. I'll see you later. Bye bye.